With apologies to Tom Lehrer, here are a few of the items from the latest round of Trump tariffs set to a possibly recognisable tune. Pike and perch and pickerel and halibut, but both fresh and frozen. Mackerel and yellowfin and herring heads and salmon rows and tench and trout and eels and shark and smelts and shad and albacore and bristling sprats and sardines smoked in tins of half a pound or more. There's feather meal and horsehair waste and antlers, horns and beaks and bones and granite quartz and calcium and dolomite and other stones. There's chalk and tar and lead, cements, hydraulic and aluminous and polymers and paints and soaps and vegetables and leguminous. There's baseball gloves and suitcases and all manner of leather goods and beech and oak and ash and pine and other coniferous woods. If all these tariffs make you feel like Trump's applying me to crotch, remember that you're in the clear if all you want's an Apple Watch. There's vacuum cleaners, razor blades, and artificial logs for fires, refrigerators, TV cameras, loudspeakers, pneumatic tires, and combo TV VCRs to take your favourite TV shows. Though I'm not all that sure that there are many people buying those. There's jellies, peanut butters, pecans, walnuts, comma, fresh and dried. And products made in peels and pastes and pulps not elsewhere specified. There's bran and beets and beans and dates and pears and plums and wines that fizz. And brewing dregs and oil cake and marigolds and bovine jizz. Meanwhile, Jim Ping is probably saying all this barely worries me. I'm busy dumping US bonds, devaluing my currency. And slapping tariffs off my own on coffee, gas and cigarettes. And Harley's bourbon condoms, gold and Hershey bars and jumbo jets. So where it ends, we just don't know. But free trade's good at stopping wars. So if it carries on, we'll probably end up like the dinosaurs.